Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Ryan of Darwin Design here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a cool sports wallpaper or uh, sports design or edit, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, yeah, I got a picture of Chuba here, Chuba Hubbard. Um, now he's a new uh, Carolina Panther, but uh, this was him back at uh, Oklahoma State where he was a straight dog, man. So, uh, this was an old design I kind of turned and tweaked into uh, something uh based around my newer styles and i made it into uh something you guys could learn off really simple and easy so i'm gonna go ahead and just kind of break it down as opposed to making something completely new um and then i'll have a link to this in the description down below as well if you guys want to play with it yourself so let's go ahead and get started um I'll start off with the mask as always um very basic just uh regular mask and then i use the skin to get the skin i use topaz um, if you're not familiar with that, I'll have a link to my sports edit tutorial where I go a little bit more in depth on that. But um, I talk about that very often in my videos, so I don't want to continue to go over the same stuff. Um, feet shadows here, very basic. Just to get these, I just take a regular black feathered brush, 0% hardness. Then go to your brush settings, lessen the roundness. And then you can create these kind of ovals and, and adjust it to fit. So um yeah for the rest of the background i really focused on these shapes um in this graphic so i have two bundles here they're kind of like their own things um as you see here and so this is kind of adjusted to fit around chuba and so i can these aren't rasterized so i could take like a lasso tool or a pen tool or anything like that and just highlight a shape I like, press control T to transform it, and then I can adjust it, move it, do whatever I want with it. So that way I can have it better fit around the player as opposed to just being thrown on there. Cause if you throw on a different mask um, or a different picture of a player onto this, it's gonna look a little bit off because this is based around Chuba's positioning. So keep that in mind, but it's very simple to adjust. Uh, with that control T and just selection. So now on top of that, I threw uh, the OSU logo on there. I put it on, I would say it's difference, but I put it on subtract. I'll fix that. But um, yeah, just play with blend modes and see kind of what shows up. I mean, everything's going to be different, but this is just a good base to give you an idea of how to create some um, simple, clean, and all that, all those nice characteristics. So um, yeah, this is really basic text. I use. I used the uh, Tusker Grotesque, which is what I went over in uh, one of the fonts I went over in my font video. Um, top 10 fonts or top 7 fonts. Um, yeah, so it just very, very straightforward. It says Chuba, nothing much to go over here. And then the overlays, another very simple uh, addition. So I have a few more shape bundles here. As you can see, it's really just a circle and the, uh, and the lines in the back that are subtle, but they kind of keep it busy. Uh, just enough. I think I think they're really nice addition, and then uh, just some half tones here. Just some black half tones, uh, very subtle, but they add a little texture to the text and um, a little overlay over the top of the rest of the design as well. So, not to get into some color correction. This is very basic. Uh, I started off with some gradient maps. I got one on overlay just to kind of match lights and darks, and then I got one uh, black. These are all black and white too. So, all black and white gradients. Uh, one's for multiply and one's for color dodge. For multiply, I focus more on the darks because that's going to bring out the darks. Color dodge will bring out the light. So um, kind of adjust it to fit your photo. Same with curves. I got one for the lights and one for the darks. And I just kind of keep the same thing going on here where I just highlight the darks and I highlight the lights and the other one. And I got some lookups here. So crisp, warm, Kodak. Uh, and then these two are actually from a pack I bought, but yeah <laughs> you, you know what i mean but um yeah so those are in there give it a little bit more saturation and vibrance and then this is just a uh, vibrance and selective color group or layer uh to uh bring out the colors a little bit more and then just to finish it off i used uh, these camera raw filter groups which don't or layers which don't do very much but they uh give it a little bit of polish if you will so i'll go over how to make these just for this base camera raw one um i just adjusted the basic adjustments <laughs> so exposure contrast stuff like that highlights um focus on clarity and texture for sure and then to uh to get this black and white one i go to filter 
uh, here presets and then black and white as you can see here there's all these you can choose from I chose this one here selenium tone and uh, I put it on pin light so it kind of you can see the effect it makes it's pretty obvious um, kind of desaturates it a little bit and um, takes out some of the color but um, I didn't want that all across so I lessened it and I uh, put on a layer mask but I mean I emphasize this a lot in everything and all the videos I make but everything's different uh, situations are situational if you will so um, some things are gonna look different especially based around different colors so as you can see here uh, if I play with different blend modes darker color kind of wipes out all the oranges and then lighter color will leave this so I mean play with everything here but this is just a, I feel like it's a good base for you to kind of like learn if you're not too uh, familiar with it or if you just want to experiment with a new style because I know I, these like shape bundles and stuff like that I think are all really cool um, so yeah man uh very simple uh link to this will be in the description down below um i appreciate all y'all support um yeah man not too much else to say i have all my socials in the description as always leave any comments i got y'all and uh yeah man have a good one deuces